So you're finding the text in your drop-down list too small. Unfortunately, there isn't a setting in Excel that will actually allow you to change the font size. But what you can do is automatically zoom in on your drop-down list when it is selected. For example, if I click in this drop-down list, you can see it zooms in, making the options in the drop-down list easier to read. And when I click outside the drop-down list, it automatically zooms out. Now, to achieve this, you do need to use a little bit of VBA code, which I've provided with this video. So your first step is to right-click on the Sheet tab and then go to View Code. And then in this code window, paste in the code that I've provided for you. Now, if you want a bit of an explanation about how this code works, it runs automatically when there's a selection change in the worksheet. Now, I've declared a variable called zoom amount, and you can see down here that whatever I store in the zoom amount variable is used for the zoom setting of the active window. Now, initially, the zoom amount is equal to 120, 120%. But if this cell that is selected contains a data validation dropdown list, then the zoom amount is equal to 200. Now, the reason I've got this error handling code here and here is because this line of code will return an error if I select a cell that doesn't contain any type of data validation. So if an error is returned by this line of code, the code will jump straight to this line, in which case the zoom amount will be equal to 120. Let's change these values. So I want my initial zoom amount to be 100 and my drop-down list zoom amount to be 300. So I'll close this down. I'll select the drop-down list. You can see I've got a zoom amount of 300%. You can see that down there, the bottom right-hand corner. If I click in a cell that doesn't contain a drop-down list, I get a zoom amount of 100%. Now, if you are going to store this code in your workbook, you will need to save the file as a macro-enabled workbook rather than a normal Excel workbook. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.